Jim, I completely agree. Dump the Apple stock, we're going all in on Blockbuster. That's the future. Oh, hello. I'm Al Brook from the Buzzsprout Corporation. These days, podcasting is becoming much more popular. And interview podcasts are all the rage now that you can record a remote interview from the comfort of your own home. You may have been invited to be on a podcast yourself. Maybe you're a bit nervous or unsure of the equipment that you'll need. But don't worry, at Buzzsprout, we've worked with podcasters and their guests, just like you, for over 13 years. And I'll be your guide as we explore the best ways to be a podcast guest. Let's begin with the most important equipment that you'll need, a microphone. You don't need to have an expensive microphone to sound great. Some options may be available in your home right now. Let's take a look at a few of them together. The worst microphone you can use is probably the one in your laptop. Built-in laptop microphones can make your voice sound hollow and echoey and pick up every little sound like barking dogs or crying babies. Apple Silicon MacBooks, however, have relatively good microphones but if you don't have one of these MacBooks, avoid using the laptop microphone altogether. The next type of microphone is the wireless microphone. Wireless mics aren't as stable as wired headsets. Your voice could drop out or the batteries could die in the middle of an interview. That's something we want to absolutely avoid. Next on our list is the wired headset. Wired headsets are tried and true. And if someone in your house plays video games, a gaming headset is a viable option. Now, if you have a standalone microphone, that is the best option. But if you don't have one and want to purchase one, we would recommend the Samson Q2U. It's a great mic that works in most environments, like a bedroom or an office. We'll include a hyperlink address in the description below in case you want to purchase one for yourself. Now, mics aren't the only important piece of equipment. Headphones are also essential for your interview. For example, if you're speaking too quietly, you want to be able to hear that in your headphones and adjust your voice to the right level. And when you're listening to the interviewer speak, you don't want their voice to be picked up by your mic. Without headphones, this creates drastic problems when editing. So we put together a catchy PSA to help you remember to wear your headphones. Kick it, John. Your interview gotta get in the zone How do you do this? You choose the right headphones Airpods, earpods, whatever you need You'll notice when you're speaking too quietly You see, headphones is the top accessory They limit distractions, give you clarity You'll hear yourself in real time You pull it off just like these sick rhymes I'm John, I'm about to bring it home Here's a gist, put on your headphones Word Incredible, John. A oh, word to your mother. Now that you have your headphones and microphone ready, let's discuss your recording space. It's important to choose the right area for your interview. You want a quiet area, free of distractions, a room with lots of furniture and fabric to help absorb the sounds. For example, you could use a bedroom or even a closet. And if all else fails, never underestimate the power of a good blanket fort. You can create this with blankets, pillows, or even sheets. Another thing to keep in mind is what you're wearing, like this noisy jacket. Just moving them around makes all kinds of noise. Be mindful to remove noisy accessories like chains or bracelets or even large earrings. And during the interview, be careful not to click a pen or tap your desk or type on that loud keyboard. One final but important thing to be aware of for your recording space is the background noise. Before your interview, do your best to reduce background noises and interruptions. Let people know that you're recording. Turn off your AC, fans, dishwashers, and laundry appliances, and stay away from the windows if you know it's lawn day. Your podcast interviewer may ask you to install some software to record the podcast interview. Popular options include Zoom, Riverside, and Squadcast. Once you install the software, perform a sound check to ensure that the microphone is selected as the input device. Finally, Double check that your computer is up to date before the interview. This will help avoid those pesky automated updates. Now, on the day of the podcast, I want to dare you to be your best. D stands for drink. Long interviews can dry out your mouth. 
and you want your voice to be in tip-top shape when being interviewed. Have a beverage nearby, like water or hot tea. <laughs> this is water, not Crystal Pepsi. Never drink soda before your interview, or you might have an unseemly burp in the recording. A is for alerts. Put your phone and laptop on do not disturb mode to silence notifications. R is for research. Research the podcast to get a feel for how your interview will go. Does the host have a particular tone or theme? Does the host ask the same questions to their guests? Listening to an episode or two will make you much more comfortable during the recording. Finally, E is for early. Nobody likes a tardy interviewee. Set up your equipment and update your software the day before your interview to prevent last minute issues. If the host is in a different location, remember to double check the time zone to keep everybody in sync. We've covered a lot of information in this program and you don't want to miss anything. That's why we've created a free guest cheat sheet. This covers everything from this program and also allows us to go into much more detail so that you don't miss anything. You can pick up a free copy in the description below. This concludes your orientation program. And if you're ever hosting a podcast interview, feel free to share this video with your guests. I'm Al Brook. Keep podcasting.